Alright, let's play Caesar 2. I'm going to try and tell you everything I know about it in less than two minutes. Here I go. First thing you can right click, find out why like this house isn't growing. And it looks like I goofed and I put a dramatics. I don't have one close enough for that house. And I'm actually going to leave it until land value is too low in this area. Then I might go ahead and delete that one. Wonder what's going on with this one. Okay, it's getting higher too. So the trick here for the city side of things is you want like a snooty neighborhood where your high-end people live and they pay a bunch of good taxes and that's right here. I'm totally everything is about getting this stuff. See this number right here is 58. Well I want it to be 64 and eventually whatever's holding it back I'm going to build right here. But it should be pretty close to coming to full fruition except for this guy because he doesn't have a grammatics. Now also I have a business district up here. I can't have it close to my, my snooty neighborhood because they don't like to live that close to a business. So um, I keep these houses maxed out. Like th This won't get any higher because it's too close to the business. This is a little further away, so it can get a little higher, but it's still, this is as really as good as it gets. And it'll tell you why. You right click, it's going to say business in the vicinity of this building limits its development. And land value there, which you can fix with a few gardens. So that's for the neighborhoods in the city. Uh, we'll look at um, the troops here. I generally keep this, I get these guys up to 25 denarii like right away per month to, to get this, uh, to get these uh, troops on the move. So we're going to move, get them going here. A couple of things to watch out for. The game will mess up on you sometimes and it'll charge you a bunch of stuff like after a battle or something so you just want to save before the battle and that way you can uh, you can load again and, and make sure you don't lose all your money or like when sometimes when you load when I loaded this one my money disappeared um, so I've beaten this game several times even with the, the the extra challenge I believe I beat it on hard or you know on the hardest setting with the extra challenge so pretty much this piece thing goes very slowly you can give it a little bit of a boost when you're um, killing the, the uh, barbarian tribes or whatever, you, so you give a little bit of a boost. So the idea is your prosperity is going to go down when you spend all your money and you want to build it back up within before your piece one maxes out. And you, when your piece one maxes out, you want to be able to take the promotion before that guy Pompus Maximus takes all your, takes, you know, conquers all these, these areas. So this is where I'm at. I've, I've slowed it down a little bit. To You want to go at a pace where you can still get your plebs going and and kind of build things, but you don't want to go too fast. And I kind of goofed. I, I built too many houses. In my, so there's another thing to kind of keep an eye on. My employment is at 85%. Ideally, I want more employment than that. Um, I've been going two years. I operated two years at a loss. I'm going to try and operate at a gain from here on out. And I am I am in an 888 surplus. You don't want to let that go too much. You do want to build maybe a thing or two to keep that at a... You don't want too much of a surplus. Or uh, or you're expected to keep doing that, that surplus in order for your prosperity to go up. And then you're, you've got to try and make that next time. So... Uh, get it down to 400 a little hope oh, now I need plebs and so I'm kind of preparing ahead I'm, I know I'm gonna want more uh, more farms and stuff a few more things but now I can lower this and that'll actually you know it's kind of neat about this game every one denarii per month counts and that you know increased it by that much for a surplus it was at what 490 or something a second ago so my troops are headed over there to boost my peace rating, but the, the main trick is what goes on in the city here. Oh, there's one other district I forgot to mention, but anyways, there's the snooty district, there's the business district. I try and keep everything in a wall. Uh, very rarely do you need a bigger city than this in order to succeed, maybe in the very end game. Um, I also have another neighborhood, so it seems kind of silly. I have like three hospitals right here. And they just need to be attached to a forum. I also have a library. They don't have to be in your main city. There's no reason to put them there. Maybe if you're really good at 
the cosmetics of everything, you can maybe increase land value by getting it just right, but it's not entirely necessary. I put a barracks here and next to some temples so my denarii doesn't get stolen and also it just kind of keeps everything secure. So so the, you need the forum, the hospitals, here's a library. Ideally I'd build another one but I'm kind of short on denarii. And that's really all there is to it. And you just kind of right click to check on the um, why things aren't aren't growing and you just have multiple uh, mul you know just just several districts really ideally you have three you have the snooty district the ghetto uh, working man's district and then you have the, the, the place where no one lives <laughs> so and that and that works don't build a bridge that'll mess up your your security and, and don't forget about these little fancy things that tell you what's what's going on over here so you see I have external security and, and internal where there's the bright or the red. So I think that's it.